I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a career coach. I used to work in search. I filled more than 1,200 full-time positions plus consulting assignments when I worked in that way. After the interview, it's important to take some notes down. But let me explain why you're taking them down and what you're looking for. What did I like about this role? You know, what, what's the work like? Do I like it? Number two, what do I think of the people so far? The work environment. Take a look around. What was the energy like in the office that you, with the people that you met with? Was it upbeat? Was it kind of heavy? I'm not putting a value judgment on it, but I just know over the course of time, people forget things. And I want you to have something concrete there. What was your manager like? Did you ask people in the interview, other than the manager, what he or she was like as a mentor or coach? Were they, shall we say, a manager who just tries and help people get things done? Or are they someone who helps them with their career development? Make the point of asking that. After you've taken down some notes, oh yes, there's one other thing that's really important. What were the rough edges in your background and in the context of the interview? Sometimes things surface that aren't quite perfect. And if you're invited back, trust me, they're going to come back and visit that. And I want you to be prepared with answers to some of the concerns that they have. So once you have all of that, you start comparing it with your list of what's most important to you in the next job or organization. Don't have that? Let me explain what you should be doing. What's most important to you in the next job or organization? What will you need to see or hear or feel to believe it's the right choice for you? Make a long list, and once you have that list, prioritize your first five to six items on that list. From one to five, what's most important, and then go down from there. Whatever the order is, you're going to start comparing it with some of your notes and some of your impressions. So that this way, as things get to a final decision and you start to feel the pressure from the choice that you have to make, you have a checklist of what you are looking for, and you have comparison based upon the interviews that you've done with how this job matches up. Now, I'm not going to tell you to turn down something that doesn't compare well with the list. Your opinions can change over the course of time, but it's a benchmark from which to work. So again, after the interview, you're taking notes down about what you liked, what you didn't like, what you had questions about, what your manager was like, feedback from the team as to what they think of the manager, things along those lines, and most importantly, the rough edges, so that you're able to prepare for the next round of interview where, as I said, trust me, they're going to investigate some of those rough edges. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. Go to the blog, go explore, and there's a lot there to help you. And in addition, if you're interested in my coaching you for your next interview, you can schedule time for a free discovery call or go right into coaching and schedule time for a coaching session with me. I would love to help. And follow me on LinkedIn, linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. And let's see now if I can do this right. Uh, no, there, uh, over there. Click on that little, click on the little, <laughs> Click on the little button there to follow me on YouTube. You'll get notified when I release something new. Have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great!